We are slowly but steady gearing up. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Oh, it's Christmas tree dying time. I'm feeling a lot better. It took two days, like I, I chilled a little, took care of all of the to-do things on my to-do list just to catch up again. And now it's empty, so feeling great again. Let's get the day started with visiting someone else in his studio. It's raining again, of course. What else? It's always raining here. This right here is the studio of Justus. You know him, my guitar guy. He also has a studio. I haven't seen him in a while. You all know this very beautiful studio with a ton of gear. And it seems like it's way too much gear because Justus doesn't have any space anymore. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, yeah. Gear overload. This one you're keeping? Yes, I'm gonna keep this, but. And this one. Yes. But the rest you can have for now. That's really nice. That's how you get gear really cheap. He needs the space. I have way too much space and some toys to play around. Why not? Not sure if I will actually use them. Did you ever actually use them in your productions? These ones? Not yet. No. <laughs> so maybe I will be the first actually using them. First little gadget is an audio routing controller. Basically a patch bay without patching. Here an EQ as well as two what are these two compressors that's that's not the safe way to do it um, yeah this looks kind of good now uh, let's actually get even more gear kind of gear like just checking gear but nothing to do with music actually Yes, I'm trying to buy a bike because I want to ride the bike from home to the studio every day 20 to 30 minutes just to stay fit, keep my head clear, listen to some music, have some time for myself because even in the car driving, just one phone call after another to be as efficient as possible, so bike would be a good alternative. Believe it or not, all four stores didn't have a proper bike that isn't too expensive, they're all like a thousand five hundred and plus if you want something really good and what's even more sad i i said hi to everyone in the store that worked there and no one responded and no one actually came up to me and asked me if i need anything or if they can advise me in any way like germany believe it or not is really the worst place for service now to cool down my nerves because i hate shopping even if it's for something nice as a bike a little, little snack. We are slowly but steady gearing up. Carrying this is the closest to sport that I've done so far this year. Luckily the year is really fresh. But yeah, definitely a bike. I will check online a couple of them, but I don't want to talk too much about bikes because this is not a bike channel, this is a music production channel. But I love bikes, absolutely love them. I think it's the only sport, for me at least, that makes fun that you do on your own. I usually prefer playing basketball, but all of my friends are too busy. And it's, it's impossible to organize that. And I also used to box a lot, but that's that's so dangerous. <laughs> you just get really stupid. And if someone punches you on the nose, you get aggressive and then you punch them and then you end up in a fight. And that's like really not good. So I will stick to the bike. This will also shorten my travel distance between home and the studio, or at least make it the same. Maybe if I get really, really trained, I will I will be faster. But yeah, anyways. This is not a bike channel, not a sport channel, not a complaining channel. This is all about music production. So let's do another quick round of Q&A. So yeah, welcome to the Q&A. I'm not responsible for the questions. Those are your questions that you asked me on Instagram. I'm just saying that because I read already the first one and it's a little tricky. So what do you think about producing music with MDMA or something like that, especially in underground music? I don't have any experience making music under the influence of drugs. I personally wouldn't try it because like my work is too important. I want to be able to focus 
and make something that I consciously decide to make. I know a lot of people that take drugs to make music. MDMA, probably not the best idea. I, I really don't know. If anyone ever tried it and has some real life experience to share with us, leave it in the comments. And one more thing, um, like making music under the influence of drugs, and let's just say you make better music, then you have to take drugs, which is really the worst position to be in. So please don't even try it. Make music. If you can't make music, stop making music, but don't start taking drugs. This won't help you. Next up, if you had to listen to one style of music for the rest of your life, what would it be? I think I would just go with Deep House because it's chilled, relaxed, kind of fits to me and my personality. In 2019, do you intend to try out different styles for your label like Trap, Future House? We had a lot of Future House releases actually, so just to make it clear, Accents, my music label, is totally open to any style of electronic music, like really anything. You can just send it in, the link is in the description for demos. I will listen to it and if I like it and if it has like vocals in it or at least some sort or form of vocals, it could be sampled, chopped vocals, it has a chance to be released on the label. You have to understand I rely on your demos to make this label. So I don't really decide the style of the label. You send in stuff and I pick the best tracks that I think are worth releasing. What are your thoughts on using OTT on the master? Some do it, some say it's that wrong. Oh God, now I will say something again and get into a pink noise war again probably, but I would say don't do it. Especially if you don't have a clue, if you're starting out. If you're a full pro then maybe yes, but then there are other ways to get a nicer sound than with it. It's, it's a nice cool plugin but there's better stuff out there, especially for the master chain. I would actually always advise to let someone else master your songs, just to have someone else to double check it. How do I get my first gig as a DJ? Go out there, tell everyone you're a DJ, try to DJ for free in bars, maybe clubs, birthdays, weddings, whatever, and then just work your way up. You have to make sure that you have some experience, you have to make sure that people know that you're able to DJ the entire night, especially for clubs and festivals, because there's a lot of money involved. If you screw up, they lose a lot. So they only let people play there that are actually professional enough or that prove that they're professional enough. Or just produce a super hit and you will get booked. That's, that's maybe the simpler solution. Just making this vlog more interesting by switching the camera and of course, showing you my big speakers. What do you think about Psy trance? I like it actually. It's close to progressive, a little trancey kind of new, fresh. I think it's definitely one of those rising styles at the moment. Next up, are you going to listen to some of the remixes on your channel? Yes, definitely. I will do a special track submit presenting you some of the songs, maybe even do a live stream. I'm still not sure yet, but it just started like three, four days ago. So we'll wait one or two more weeks. What is the best way to learn to mix on headphones if I can't afford studio monitors and my room isn't treated? I would go for headphones, not studio headphones. There is like a big difference between studio headphones. These right here, the DT7070 Pro, like one of the very, very classic studio headphones. These are made to play the drums, record vocals for the singer, songwriter to actually wear them because they're isolating and very soft. I also like the sound, but it's not really intended for mixing. I mean, yes, you could mix on them, but like, get actually proper mixing headphones and proper mixing headphones are usually open headphones. Is it possible to produce progressive house on your music production course? Yes, any style, again, very welcome. I used to produce progressive house, so I know a ton about it. And as you know, here in the studio, we do production courses, not at the moment, cause it's too much, like too many people want courses and DJing and music production. So we have to cut it down a little bit. So I think, after February, if you're interested. How does the Beatport chart ranking works? Pretty simple, actually. As far as I know, like this information is from three years ago. I talked to someone that works at Beatport in Berlin. He told me the system is counting the sales of the past seven days. So if your song makes 200 sales in the past week in Deep House, you end up in the top 20 of the Deep House style charts, which isn't that much, so. There's a lot of faking going on. I would say the Beatport charts are the most fake charts on planet Earth. It's the easiest because the sale numbers are extremely low and it still means a lot. If you get into the top 10 of the Beatport charts, you get booked, you get gigs. Maybe 
That's something I should start doing, like just faking the beatport charts. Sine wave or saw wave? I mean, come on, sine wave, of course. Did you used to make videos and edit before you start vlogging? No, absolutely not. The first video here on this channel, I will link it up there if you want to laugh really hard, go watch it. I will also link it at the end of the video. That's the first time I ever edited a video. It's just like learning by doing. How do I submit to your remix competition? Just go to the Splice website. If you have any problems, just please get in touch with Splice. It's their, their part. Does it count if you use the same lyrics but other singer for the remix? Yeah, it's not really a remix, it's more cover, but if you go through that effort, I would still count it. What's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? <laughs> checking my phone for emails, messages, checking comments on the vlog. I think that's it. By the way, if you're interested, if you film in your story, you making the remix for the Stay John Sign Remix competition, just um, tag me, send it to me, I will repost it on my Instagram channel to give you a little bit more exposure and for everyone else to just check out what is going on How other people make that remix with that being said I will now do a ton of emails a ton of phone calls a ton of research about bikes I need a proper bike <laughs>